la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la 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 Leo, la la la. What's up, lions? Is you being mean or not? <laughs> hey, boo, hey, if this is first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. So if cussing don't work for you, right down now. Feel free to find another beautiful reading here on YouTube that don't cuss, because it's my shit, all right? To the new subscribers, hey, y'all, hey. Welcome to the family. We're a little dysfunctional on this side, all right? We don't fight and fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But here we do love. We share. We grow. We enlighten. We evolve. And we cuss. One big happy family. Positive vibes only. Positive teens up in here, all right? To the returning subscribers, hey, family. Did you miss me? Because I sure as hell missed y'all. I had to get my shit together emotionally, financially, spiritually, mentally. And then come to you all beautiful like this with my shoulders. <laughs> like, y'all felt good when I was doing y'all energy. And then <laughs> I felt somebody else. I feel like this is a cross watcher energy. Yo, this could be you to a cross watcher. But Tank came through, is y'all song. I'm going to tell y'all the songs that came through. Okay? Because for some of y'all, it was two of them. All right? So, I feel like the messages in those both songs are a bit different, but the same. So, we're going to run it, all right? You guys, this will be for the Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Leo. You guys, thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, the readings, the donations, the loves. Y'all, thank you so very much from the most humblest space ever. Truly appreciate it, okay? Um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. It ain't going to resonate with everybody, all right? Please feel free to watch your sun, your moon, your rising. Um, you know, and if you're a part-time cross-watcher, you know, come back later on in the month and watch it again. I will be dropping a mid-month, too, so y'all look out for that, all right? Then catch up, my sauce. Check me out, all right? Um, you all, just thank you. Thank you for being a part of my tribe. I truly appreciate y'all. I don't know if I tell y'all that enough, but I really do. All right, so let's get into it because I couldn't wait to pull the tea with y'all asses. All right, y'all got my song both of top out both of my songs coming to me, but ironically, I connect with music very heavily, so um, I am Claire audience and I'm an empath. So with you guys, what I felt with you guys immediately, my condolences goes out to anybody who's recently lost someone because I did hear death. Okay, I don't like predicting death, but I did feel the energy of death. Some of you all, you are mourning someone who did pass over. Some of y'all all have inherited um, the gifts of mediumship. Spirits and gave you something a little extra. Some of you all are afraid, okay? Some of y'all could have Libra in your chart or could be dealing with the Libra, but I definitely feel like some of y'all have in your chart. Um, you guys need to put that salt around. Some of y'all need to put some salt around you, damn. Um, your your doors, okay, or your bed, your bed. I'm, I'm feeling more so in the bedroom. This could even be the bedroom of a child do astral travels, all right. Uh, but for my Leos, you guys, let's talk about it. The songs that I got for you. No, in fact, I'm gonna do your intuitive messages first, all right. Leo, somebody is scared. Somebody does not want to release the situation. Someone. Some, I'm hearing somebody's bluff was called. Somebody called somebody's bluff. Somebody thought that they had the other person in the grips on the palms of their damn hands. That the other person was going to allow that bullshit forever. And somebody learned differently in the month of November. Because someone... Def I feel two people who truly love each other, but the other person is really practicing that aspect of self-love, self-care, um, nurturing the self. You, when somebody woke the fuck up, the lights came on. Okay, and Leo hit the motherfucking deck. And I feel like you're teaching someone during this time. Some of y'all are y'all are teaching someone how to treat you in the month of November if they want to sell shit smoothly and don't rock the motherfucking boat in December. Okay? So let's get it. Start with your intuitive messages first. Leo, some of y'all got a stalker. That is one of your exes. Your exes, because y'all exes don't let y'all go. They might say they do, but they don't. They be looking and looking and looking and looking. Y'all some stalking motherfuckers too. Looking and looking. Some of y'all have people that's purposely trying to be a disturbance, be a distraction in your life. These are low vibrational energies, baby. You got to shake that shit off. Okay? Let's get it. 
Oh, y'all got me here, Boosie. You want to talk shit? You want to run your mouth? You want the gangsters in your fucking house? We going to set this? Listen, y'all get out. Stop it. I'm such an impasse. But somebody, I just said that, and somebody turned up like mocha. <laughs> yes, bitch. Somebody have a wine cup right now with some burgundy hair just turned up today. Y'all is lit, okay? These downloads lit, too. So, Leo, what I got for you all was creative spark, solitude, resurrection, harmony, ascension, triggers, inheritance, life path, mourning, new home, reigning abundance, blessed business opportunities, yes, bitch, rejection, fear of letting go, codependency, impulsive responses. Dreams, new love, temperament, front row seat, forgiveness, reunion, ancestors, financial blessings, family ties, reigning abundance. Bitch, should you hit rain? <laughs> they, they, they say poor rain. It's going to rain down on you. La, 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 on you. It's going to rain. Let it go. And the people who got a problem with you, they're going to have to take a number and ask. You can tell them they have to go learn how to let it go from Elsa. That's not your problem, Leos. Okay. Let's get it. Let's talk about it. The songs that I actually got for you all besides, whoa, that little boozy somebody wants to knuck and buck, okay? Besides that bootsy because, Leo, there's a need for you all to hold your temper. Lions, tame the fire because little boot for little booty to be channeled. Okay, little not little because I want if y'all gonna go look it up. I don't want you to put little booty. Lil L I L Lil Boosie to be channeled. The words are. Did you not hear the words right before the intuitive message? Is somebody trying to disturb your somebody trying to disturb your path of to ascension, baby? It's harvest time, spirit. Like, listen, you're going to let these, you got one life jacket, Leo. <laughs> Only room for one person, two-seater in the boat. If you got kids, it's enough for the little people. But there ain't enough room for them. And even if you try to carry their ass on your boat in the water, they're going to slip off. Are you going to flip your boat? Are you going to flip your damn boat over, Leo, trying to save a motherfucker? Who obviously had a lot of time to prepare, and you already gave their ass the answer key to know how to say this thing, but they scared. Are you starting to see the little scared in them, in yourself? Because it's Scorpio season. Hmm. Hmm. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. But for Lil Boosie, the words was, you want to talk shit, you want to run your mouth. You want some gangsters in your motherfucking, in front, in front your motherfucking house. We will set this bitch off. Leo, don't set this bitch off. Just sit down at Starbucks instead. Everyone loves Starbucks. I do. Okay? Let's get it. All right? Overall energy around the, oh, pity, bitch. Listen. So the song I got for you guys was, the first one was Tank. Um, oh. She saw the numbers I had in my phone. Oh, she saw the not Wait, I don't know the words, but I know it's please don't go. Please don't go. And it goes on. It ain't worth telling a lie. It ain't worth seeing you cry. It ain't worth, baby, I'm right here begging you to please don't go. Somebody is sorry, Leo. They don't want you to go. You want Leo wants to move the fuck away. Okay, then somebody's like, no, I don't want you to go. Or this is you and someone else, Leo. Take it how it resonates. Y'all know your stories. Flip that shit. Okay. The other song that I heard was it's my shit. Sometimes I don't like you. You always got a problem with everything that I do. I don't always understand everything about you. But I know I just can't live without you. So yeah, I do. I do. I do. I do. 
I do, I do. Okay, so you guys, the, the, the second song is Music Soul Child. First song is Tank. Y'all go listen to them songs. I don't know if this actually, those two songs were playing on somebody's playlist, but those can be very strong, okay? Somebody could even been, you want to talk shit? You want to run your mouth? Somebody was feeling antsy with that boost and set this bitch off, okay? Because when it came through the intuitive session, I had to keep my ratchet to a minimum because y'all know I'm very authentic. Y'all know y'all, y'all spiritual less, the goddess. But understand, the ratchet lives so just a little bit, okay? Just a tad. I remember it, okay? My soul knows it well. So my, that shoulder was going to crank it. You understand? So let's go. Some of you all, this could have to do with the move. There is positive news coming in regarding a move in the month of November, okay? For some of you all, this has to do with um, before you can move a situation forward. There's um there's a need for you all to communicate, set clear boundaries, okay? For some of you all, this also has a, some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign. Some of y'all could be moving away or towards a Gemini Libra Aquarius very heavily. That energy, okay? Um, some of y'all are also contemplating. I'm hearing plot twists. So things aren't what they seem. I feel like some I'm hearing unmasking. So someone's wearing a mask in order to plot, plan, and scheme else. Like someone I'm hearing epic, just like that. So, <laughs> some of y'all got a front row seat to someone's karma or something karmic, or I feel like this has to do with um, a situation or a, a, a certain. Hmm, somebody tried to bust their ass to get under your skin, Leo. In the month of November, somebody got a hell of a rude awakening, okay? I am hearing divine intervention. I also heard ancestors. So some of y'all ancestors, it's kind of twirling in the pudding, okay? Some of you guys, whatever work that was put out around the Scorpio new moon, you guys, you're seeing it um, coming to fruition now. Some of y'all, you're going to see it around that tourist full moon, okay? Say so, so the first angel message you guys got was hello from heaven, Archangel Azrael. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and fear their loving blessings. I feel like this has to do with the person who I picked up that was morning, okay? I feel like you're finally going to be able to fully release your loved one. Some of y'all, you needed to release this person because this person is trying to come through again. And some of y'all is holding on to somebody. And you, you, it's like you're hurt. You're, okay, I keep hearing somebody crying out for an ancestor to come and see them, come and talk to you, tell you something, say something. It should hurt in the fact that you want it so bad and you won't surrender to the wheel of letting go of the burden behind it and processing the hurt that is preventing that because this person does want that as well, but you have to let them go, okay? So they always live in your heart space. They, we live in a multi-dimensional space here. Access your spirituality, you're being called to, because whoever this is, this could have to do with a grandmother or a mother figure who raised you. This could even have to do, I'm hearing a foster mother, um, an aunt, someone could have passed on, something having to do with the lungs. Uh, for others of you, this has to do with the heart. Your ancestor is worried about you because you worry yourself, you cry yourself sick, they need to stop it, have to release now, you, I can't tell you how to release and how long you should take to heal. But there's need for you. You have to start like a a day-by-day a, a -day program or a journal or a healing journal. Do so. Get out the house. Exercise more. But there's a need. They, they want you to live, experience, and let your light shine. Love them by the example that they left. And through that example, go live your life. Because I'm picking up somebody who... For some of y'all was a very free fucking spirit. They said and did what they wanted. Okay? For others of you, this has to do with um, your ancestors. Some of y'all could also be connecting with your ancestors subconsciously through your dream space in the month of November as well. Some of y'all are also getting some type of directions or way with forward, some type of advice from ancestors in your dream space. Some of you guys also are astral travelers. You travel into uh, into dimensions. You're getting some of y'all are gaining access into higher dimensions. Some of y'all definitely got leave on your fucking chart. Next angel message was passion. Proceed forwardly. Let me tell y'all what it means, what I what I get from it after I give what the angel said directly. Okay? Passion. Archangel Haniel. Trust and follow. Trust and follow your renewed pa passion. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. 
there's need for you all. I feel like this is this has to do with some type of heart chakra activation. Some of you all are working very strongly. This month is going to focus on for a lot of you all your crown chakra. A lot of y'all are going to be receiving a lot of great, um, great ideas, creative ideas. These the ideas are divinely guided, okay? But there's a need for you all to truly heal, allow yourself to feel and personalize with these particular ideas in order for your passions to be, in order for you to ignite that sense of fire in order to be connected. Because some of you all may feel as if you have some type of creative blocks. But it's not really blocks. I, it's, there's, there's a need for some of y'all to release, but for others of you, there's a need for you to transmute that energy. Through you healing, how can you move towards your purpose and align your passions with your purpose and bring that abundance to you through your own doing? It's like you guys are creators, you're innovators. So some of y'all may be in this space of just trusting into your passion, speaking your truth that you've been holding or suppressing for quite some time and taking the liberty that you have and moving forward with what you got to go get what you want. Coming out of this space of feeling as if you don't have enough or there won't be enough. Some of y'all this could have to do with the Scorpion person. For some of you all this has to do with some type of awakening that you all are experiencing in the month of November. And I'm hearing for some of y'all this will actually last until about January. Well, going into January for some of y'all sad season. It's a Capricorn season. Okay. This for the month of November here though, honey. Here go messages so you have for my Leos. Some of you are having and they cross watchers for the month of November. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. That's too okay. Really serious. They can take a honey. Okay. So some of you all you could there could be talks about reconciling with the fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like in the past, this, there has been a lot of toxic behavior that has occurred in this damn connection. I definitely feel like, um, yeah, this could have to do with an Aries person, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with someone who you're married with or have children with or in some type of long-standing relationship with. Somebody is leaving two people out in the cold. Somebody could have to make a damn decision on... Somebody could have to make a damn decision on if they were going to um, cut off a long-standing commitment for another person, okay? For some of y'all, Leo, man, you're finding out that Billie Jean is not your damn son in the month of November. I feel like that was some type of connection or toxic connection that you had to a Gemini Libra Aquarius who yet is a soulmate. This person wants to reconnect with you, and I feel like somebody is using your children or threats around child support in order to be a blockage to your relationship to keep you in this place of juggling because you focused on what it is that you want. What you're trying to hold shit together, which keeps you in this place of con confusion, okay, and and, and, and delusionalness, because somebody y'all dealing with a delusional motherfucker, okay, this person can be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, for some of y'all, this person can also be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and others of you, some of y'all, some of y'all could also be making a decision on if you want to continue moving through a situation with the Capricorn, some of y'all, the Capricorn wants to change. This could be the father of your children, okay? This person wants to connect. They actually recognize their bullshit and they're possessing this because they went through this sense of karma, okay? For some of you all, you some of y'all really missing the sign of Libra. This person could be your divine masculine, divine feminine. I feel like this person has to make a decision between you and the child's mother or um, a partner who they have got engaged to. Somebody is into some type of engagement, okay? Others of you, others of you, this damn Sagittarius, this Sagittarius wants you to get over the past. They want to come and bring a sense of harmony. They want to bring balance to a situation and, and restoration. But some of y'all got this hot, some of y'all got the hot toy damn Pisces who just came in your life trying to fix it as well. And you're very passionate about this person, so you need to make a decision, okay? For some of you all, you're feeling guilty for a situation that could have occurred with an Aries and how you left this person can be pregnant. If you're dealing with someone, if you are another person, if you're the pregnant woman, Leo, okay, here, you could be pregnant here by an Aries, um, a Pisces, a Libra, a Taurus, a... Um, a water sign here. I definitely feel like someone is wanting to reconcile and someone is willing. I feel there has been conflict, okay? There's a need for you to, there's a need for you to release or separate yourself from this aspect of conflict. Spirit wants you into, in this peaceful place to make decisions, baby, that are for your highest good, not only for the now. For some of you all, this has to do with the business that you want to, you've been juggling and making a damn decision on when the time is right to start your business. But there is no, it's like, it's an aspect of like progress, not perfection. You know, there is no 
No set time. Stop comparing yourself to other people. I feel like there's this competitive ass energy. Some of y'all are staying in situations with people who you know it's time to end shit with, but you trying to show somebody else, oh no, this is my man. But your man is over here dreaming, thinking, wishing about this person and you feel the disconnect. Because spirit is trying to align you with your divine with your divine partner. Okay? Some of the old women, some of y'all is gonna be heartbroken. If you're dealing with the sign of Aries, okay, this person, some of y'all are dealing with an Aries that drinks too fucking much. You could definitely have a child with this person, okay? But I feel like this person is having a hard time. First off, this person got a hard time when it comes to self-control when they fucking drink, okay? I feel like this person, if they didn't want to go to some type of therapy in the past, this person could be wanting to go to some type of therapy. Some of y'all could also be dealing with an Aries person or a Sagittarius person. For some of y'all, it's a Virgo. Others of you, it's a Cancer that is coming for you or you're coming for this Cancer. Someone, I'm hearing sneak attacks. So someone's trying to catch you when you're not looking. Trifle, bitch. Some of y'all is getting into it with a fire sign woman. This could be your mother. But some of y'all, this is an air sign woman, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of you guys, either you or another fire sign wants to come in and reveal some type of truth. And I feel like whoever this is, whoever is receiving the truth, or whoever, somebody's stressing about delivering the truth. Whoever is receiving the truth, they already fucking know. They're high priestess. So some of y'all gonna realize that you've been sitting in indecision, not moving forward, out of this fear of rejection, of not, be, of not, of not being enough. Or not having enough or not wanting someone to see you in this space of things being revealed. Like some of y'all don't want a person to lose respect for you. You don't want to lose respect for another person. Some of you guys were, there was a fire sign that was indecisive on what the hell they wanted to be. They missed you, Leo. They can leave somebody in the fucking dust, okay? I feel like someone, someone was trying to prove a point. Someone has an issue with the fact that you're very arrogant, okay? For some of you all, you really want to start a situation up possibly with a new fire sign from your past. You could know this person, but maybe things never got off the ground with this person. For some of you all, this person sets boundaries or you set boundaries and it triggers someone's abandonment issue. This could also have to do with the sign of Taurus, okay? It triggers someone's abandonment issue and it mirrors an aspect of you having a fears of letting go or some sense of abandonment issues, okay? Some of y'all, um, wow. I heard 20 years. Leo, something is being revealed. This could be something that is, this could be something uh, revolving around family. Someone there, someone could find out through someone being sick that that, that their, their parent is not their parent. Um, I'm feeling more of a masculine energy. Um, some of you guys could be taking care of your mother. There's a lot of responsibility around. Some of y'all could also find, find somebody. Some of y'all thought that someone ghosted you because of you. But some of y'all going to find out that someone mother's could, somebody, somebody's mother has been sick. Some of y'all could also find out that somebody could have also been in the hospital. Someone was insecure about telling you that they had some type of kidney, kidney failure. Some of you guys could be. Finding this out about your health or someone in your energy cells. Some of y'all, this is a, a Scorpio or Aries, a water sign, a Virgo. This is sad. Some of you all feel rejected by an individual, but there's this sense of like, for one, you feel rejected by an individual, but I feel like this individual. They once near who they once near where you are on your path and things that are needing to be worked out. This could be for my Leo men. Some of you all feel rejected by a situation, and some of you all are experiencing some type of trauma. But I feel like the trauma is some type of shift in perspective. Like some some of y'all sort of feel like it's like uh, spirit is saying some of you guys have to have taken on this victimized attitude or this attitude of like defeat before you allow yourself to like somebody's avoiding doing this damn self work that needs to be done in order for a destined relationship to come together if you're dealing with a water sign um cancer pisces scorpio i feel like this person definitely wants to reconcile with you however for some of y'all this is kind of a come by this is a, a dizzy ass person they don't know really what the fuck they want 
some of y'all, this has to do with someone wanting to be a blockage to someone else moving forward because they see somebody working on themselves and they don't really have that pool that they used to have. If you're dealing with an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius, I feel like there's going to be some type of truth that is spoken regarding matters of the heart. Now, these people could have this in their chart, okay? There needs to be boundaries set in the situation. I feel like for some of you all, this could have, you could have had an issue with speaking up for yourself. Okay, especially with someone continuously bringing up the damn past. And some of y'all are tired of being treated like a damn criminal in, the, in your own fucking home that you share with somebody. So you letting this person know, listen, I miss you and I love you so much. But if we're going to continue this relationship, this shit here has to stop. Because you driving me fucking up the wall, sis. Bro, take it how you want, okay? I definitely feel like for some of you all, there is truth coming out regarding an air sign, generally with grace, that it's going to be them groundbreaking all right it's going to be changes i do see two people here getting cut the fuck out this could be it's like this this here and i feel like someone's gonna be not someone is taking themselves out of the country like it's like i'm no longer i'm no longer gonna be a third party i'm taking myself somebody's taking themselves out of the damn bunch of options okay if you're dealing with an earth sign capricorn towards virgo i feel like with this person hold on i start opening my fucking mail some of y'all dealing with a damn Taurus that is confused as fuck. They stand and they're keeping you in this space of confusion so that they can go out here and do what the hell they want to do for some of y'all. For others of you, this person has a damn drinking problem and they, they, they refuse help and you overextending your damn self trying to help the situation. You beating a damn horse, sis. Bro. Okay? For some of you all, this is a new love. This person really wants to actually offer you something solid, but you could be dealing with another earth sign that you have a hard time letting go of because you depend on this person practically and you have this fear of the unknown and don't know how the fuck it's going to work out. So you want to hold on to this space of safety and spirit saying, no, you got to let that go. Decisions, decisions. You are this earth sign, okay? Somebody wants to know they comfortable. And somebody don't want to do the damn self work, so it's easy for them to to allow defeat, to accept defeat, or run away from a situation. Someone's uh, someone abandons a particular situation as well. They're saying this is any sign. Someone is abandoning the situation because they, there's this fear of investing in it when they see mirrors of their shadow self in you. This is how you can feel about another person, or another person feels in you. But I feel like someone is willing to compromise, okay? That could have to do with the fire sign very strongly or an earth sign, all right? For others of you, if you're dealing with, uh, yeah, if, if you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, there is a very strong sexual connection here, okay? But I feel like someone, things are not moving forward because someone is not willing to compromise. I feel like they have to get ready to change, okay? Someone, either you or another person, or you or this other fire sign is coming in to communicate. For some of y'all, this could definitely be the father of the children, okay? For others of y'all, this has to do with the divine masculine, divine um, feminine situation, I definitely see the empress on the board. So some of y'all could be dealing with an Aries, Taurus, Libra, Pisces. Somebody was resisting letting go of some shit and the divine stepping in like, hey, keep that shit over. It's, it's, you gotta go this way. Okay? Um, both of you, if you're dealing with a fire sign, I know I had a fire sign, a fire card here. Some of y'all, some of y'all, there's, there's a group of different fire sign people here. Hold on. Okay, if you have a family with someone that's a fire sign, every sale Sagittarius, some of you guys are, be careful with uh, reconciliations, okay, because some of y'all could be finding out that your ass, some of y'all could be getting pregnant, so be careful, Leo, okay, be, be careful, okay, some of you all are wanting to reconcile with the fire sign, I got the king and queen of wands, for some of you all, this is your fucking other half, this is your person, some of you all have had some type of reconciliation, Recognization, you are this person of the fact that you my motherfucker. Why can't we just get right? But I'm feeling that someone someone has an issue with speaking, expressing their feelings. Someone is also very fucking selfish and they only see things one sided. And that's what's needing to be compromised in order to move things forward, okay? Because both parties really want to things to move forward. I feel like someone is running out of patience in a situation. If someone feels the other person feels that they're running out of time. So I feel like somebody is coming out with their megaphone. Hey, fire sign! Like that's the fire sign. Hey, Leo! We got some unfinished business! <laughs> they want to move things forward. Where things were stagnant, I want to move. Because you're my person. You're my baby. And I want us to move beyond this sexual shit. And actually have something solid because you're my baby. But I'm scared because you always run away from me. The fuck? 
but this person is going to be opening up and telling you why they run away. Okay. Um, I think that's everybody. All right. So give me some advice for Leo for the month of November, Spirit. What advice do you have for Leo? Give me three. Yeah, this is a past life. Some of y'all suppressing this shit is what you did in the past life and you let your damn, let your ship go by. Somebody got to put the damn work in here, okay? Also suppressing in the past life, your soul has been holding that damn burden for a long time. Let it go. Let it go. Somebody's getting a second, a second chance. Here's a second chance, okay? Leo, yes. I'm the master of my fate because I'm the type of nigga on master to my take. You are somebody, this reality, this reality is what you make it to be. You are the master you are the creator of your reality. You the drop. You are the captain of your own ship. If you accept defeat, then guess what? That's what's gonna happen. Like if you didn't fucking pass life, but if you actually go and create that shit, go make it happen, Captain. It's yours. Mastering your emotions, self mastery. Can another person help you do that? You gotta be willing to put that work in self. S e l self self. Okay. So you guys, I pray that this helps you all for the month of November. I will see you guys back here mid month of November and I love you all. Long time. Long time, baby. Send you all peace, love, and light. Bye boos bye. Namaste.